so we have a lot of content over the next two days more content than you can uh, even know what to do with i hope you are content with the content because it's kind of wild like us three wild and crazy guys that's right we're better than two wild and crazy guys so snl eat your heart out anyways i want to show off this uh deon sanders set i completely weathermaned it wrong um 98 overall champion deon sanders so basically we're getting these are kind of like um motivators from years past where these cards and their super suit will provide boosts to the rest of the roster at their certain spots like Deion Sanders providing a chemistry boost. I think it's the man and zone coverage until 3-4. So like a couple weeks. I don't know. It seems kind of useless this late in the game to get super suit. Um, and, and like these boosts only last for a short amount of time. Like two weeks flies by in Mutt as uh, Mr. Roboto said. So let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of Gridiron Gardens before we get into season three. Before we get into the honors cards. Before we get into everything. Uh, like Cam's getting updated too. It is wilder than everything i'm trying to think of what i want to go to to um let's go to joker's um twitter page because he's got the, he's got a good breakdown of the the cards on their way so um central east that goes by i'm best this week's joe lamis joe nail have released one he might have a a good release wait oh yeah he's got release as his superpower probably not oh, wait there's a there's a new mutt tweet what's this mutt tweet say so yeah, they have the superpowers on their thing, um, and we'll see what they end up doing. Let's see, this new Cam Chancellor. Mutt Champion can, can be upgraded to a 99 starting tomorrow. All right, this Cam Chancellor tomorrow. Um, all right, that's sexy as fuck. I don't know what this is, but I guess that's every team cam. What else could it be? Holy buckets. Man. Yeah, 97 speed on this cam. It's not too bad. Yeah, this is, uh, I don't know. Is this end game? <laughs> they waited a while to upgrade him. Like, he should have had an upgrade before this, right? There should have been a stepping stone to this 99. But anyways, it's here now. He's incredible. This shit got Twitch chat hard as diamonds, it looks like. Um, so, Joe Name with the 92 speed. I don't know why they gave him the same speed as TJ Watt, but uh, apparently they wanted this guy to be a, a god tier escape artist player. Um, so let's go ahead and scroll down here. Um, ba, 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 ba. Mutt champion. All right, here's here's the cam upgrades. 200 sacks with Cam Chancellor means we are going to be in solos spamming. I would uh, I think the best solo for this. If I uh, let's let's go ahead and look at it. Um, it's oh I, I'm just gonna say it. I don't want to take the time to look at it. It is the Jack Youngblood. Was it campaign? It's like the third thing. Uh, uh, Jack Youngblood solo. Just like do mid blitz off the edge with Cam Chancellor there. Subbed it outside linebacker. Oh, look, can you summon outside linebacker in mid blitz? Because, yeah, you might be able to because it's an outside linebacker. Who knows? Probably not, though. That might be, you might have to do a punt block. Uh, It's just Cam on your team. Oh, thank God. I only read the headline Cam Chancellor on your team. Okay, perfect. All right, then I, I don't care, dude. Cam on your team, not with him. With Cam Chancellor on your team. All right, that's that's a lot easier to do. Never mind then. All right, Gridiron Guardian 2s. So we're going to fly through these 91 since it doesn't matter. Um, 91 Austin Eckler. 94 speed is actually pretty decent. Low trucking, break tackles, fine. Brandon, I'm surprised Austin Eckler, one of the finest running backs in the NFL, got a 91 this late in the year. Brandon Sheriffs. He's the offensive lineman. He's whatever, right? He'll he'll do his job. Christian Barmore, blow and block shed, but he's a run stopping DT. That means he gets inside stuff for one AP. Bad pass rush move, so not great, but great. Him and Vince Wilfork in the middle of that Patriots theme team should be incredible. Demario Davis, slow linebacker, like that's as useless as an old man's cock. So moving on to the next one, Deion Sanders. Um, this card looks kind of crazy. You can power him up for the Venite press. He also has the super suit ability, champion boost ability, man coverage. So that gives a boost to players. Here it is. Earn the super suit strategy item with boost all GG2 players ratings plus one. So they're even going to get even higher overall. Um, 135 total stars. You get a 94 NCAT Great Guards 2 here, here a fantasy pack for the stars. Uh, mission objectives. There you go. You get another 94 overall Gridiron Guardians 2. Um, here's a Super Suit card. Plus one all ratings for them. Joe Namath here. Here's his sets. 
Um, Raw Hot sets Joe Namath. So you get 494s for 197. His pup, Super Street Strategy Card, and a four times NCAT 94 overall GG2. All right, so we'll have that at 3 4. No longer off the Super Suit Strategy Card. And that's when the Strategy Cards go away in game. Here's the Deion Sanders. I thought he had, I didn't want to. Oh, yeah, I, I, uh, I skipped the thread. We then have uh, Gerald Everett. That was my bad. Gerald Everett here at the 89 speed as a tight end. Basically, like a third tight end for the Seahawks theme team. They've already got a couple good ones. Uh, Justin Reed here. Not a good card. Too many low attributes there for him. We have Zeitler here, solid, fine, run, uh, lineman, run blocks a little bit low, sadly. Uh, Landon Dickerson, you know what I need? More cowbell. Landon Dickerson, he's all right. Pass block, wait, pass block finesse, he's trash. Ugh, ugh, ugh. I pass a lot. I don't want the low pass block finesse. Even though high pass block finesse, you'll still get your double team shit like crazy. But guy Becton here, meh, he's fine. Like, he's, he's a good offensive lineman, I think. Not the greatest, though, 87 on the finesse. So a lot of these cards are basically underwhelming on purpose. Joe is a field general. Person in chat asking Miles Gaskins. Brian Burns, faster than TJ Watt. Big Sag. And acceleration is his super suit power. Low end block shed. Decent finesse. Daniel Jones. Actually pretty decent speed on this field general. Um, low end throw under pressure and deep accuracy. I worry about balls like flying everywhere when you got a guy in his face. But high in, you know, speed and throw power is pretty good. Deontay Johnson. Look at that Steelers stud. Now, in Madden 22, he's not great because of his height. But still kind of cool, right? 99 speed on the full end, powered up. Steelers theme team. Hits the route running thresholds. Low catch in traffic. Like, he's not the best, right? Like, obviously, receivers that are like 97 overall are going to be better than him. But he is more than usable. DJ Moore, same thing, even faster, but it's all caps at 99 anyways. Uh, they made the fastest quarterback in the NFL slower than Joe Namath. I'm confused. Welcome to Mutt. Micah Hyde. Great IRL. Not great for Mutt because of the hit power. He's also a little light, so I don't like him at free safety. Michael Brockers, slow, but he's got the inside stuff for 1AP, so we love him. Not great pass rush moves. We got Preston Smith here, 91 speed is very nice. High end block shed and the rest of it. Preston Smith, not a card you'll probably want to have on your field, but I think it'll be usable out there. Ryan Jensen right here, great looking center. Great for your team. Derek Henry, absolutely shits on honors. Uh, Lord, uh, Jonathan Taylor today. So 97 truck, 97 break tackle, 96 speed. An absolute incredible card right here, plus the strategy boost item. This is probably going to be the best running back in Mutt. Like, I can't understate that. This card is going to fuck people up. But no more than his earlier year card did. I mean, you just want a heavy running back, right? That's crazy. We then have Roquan Smith here. A middle linebacker that you can pair in Chicago with Keekly, Right? Okay. Power him up. Get the plus two speed. 97 speed. So you can start running 3-4 with this guy. This guy and Keekly in a 3-4... You can start running under center. Or you can start running that stuff. So that kind of opens up a lot of the the game, I feel like. with with uh, Obviously, you have to devote 2 AP to Lurker. But if you got some like slick blitz out of 3-4, eh, you know, that could totally work. Um, and then we got, the, we got Max Crosby here. This is sick, dude. We just are getting TJ Watt honors today. And they come out the, the, tomorrow. And this card's better than Watt. Like, this is so fucking stupid. I'm actually pissed off that Max Crosby got a better item, didn't even didn't even win the award, and in 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 24 hours is better than T.J. Watt. And plus he'll get the Gridiron Guardians boost. Plus he has a block shed boost. To everybody else, like this is this is stupid. I actually hate the EA butts. Like why couldn't you juice? Why couldn't you make T.J. 98? Why why are they the same overall? Oh my god, this is this is terrible. I absolutely hate that. And then we talked about Joe Namath. He's pretty freaking slick. 98. How do you get 98 speed? Do you have, do you use D Lyman speed boosts? Raider, it's a Raiders theme team. That's why I got it. From disgruntled Steelers and Colts fans. Yeah. Man. I I don't wanna I don't wanna say any, I don't wanna get more angry about that. And then we looked at these cards, like Dion and everything. 
I that's that's all I'm gonna say about that. <sighs> Crosby had an amazing season though. Yeah, but he didn't win the fucking award. For Crosby to get a straight upgrade over TJ Watt when TJ Watt tied the sack record. He's faster, better block shed, finesse move goes crazy. I mean, are they the same finesse move? What is TJ Watt's finesse move again? Let's go and take a look at what TJ Watt. And TJ Watt's gonna cost like five times as much because of the rareness of the honors put cards. And that so that like that that really fucking sucks. Is that TJ Watt literally won defensive player of the year? Crosby, yeah, good year. Good job. But this fucker. Are they not even dude, they haven't even put those guys in packs yet? What's happening? So he's got 97. Okay, so they both have 97 finesse. So Crosby, a straight speed upgrade, a straight block shit upgrade, and the same finesse. Same power move as, as TJ. Or is his power move one better? I don't know. Dog. It is so frustrating to see what EA does. Not out yet. All right. So yeah, we'll wait for that stuff to come out. So anyways, that's Gridiron Guardians tomorrow. All right. And then we have, we talked, we, we went through and showed this Cam Chancellor. I also want to talk about, uh, I've talked about the cam update. I don't know. So I don't know if limiteds are today, right? Because on EA schedule, if you guys recall earlier, EA tweeted out the schedule for this week. And on their schedule, they mentioned limiteds. I'm scrolling down to find the schedule. Anybody got the schedule? Was that on Madden NFL Direct or EA Madden? Where was it? We got Ultimate Legends on Saturday, obviously. No, it's not this far back. Where's the schedule? It was on it was on the, the Mutt sub. EA tuned it from somewhere. EA loves the Raiders, hates the Steelers. That's true. But anyways, on the schedule, they mentioned... Um, uh, check mentions. All right. Oh, it was on GMM. Limiteds and Honors. But they have not tweeted about limiteds at all. Honors are not in the game, so maybe that's why limiteds are not in game either. Either team builders said it's a little later. We got Gridiron Guardians too. So yeah, yeah. I don't know what the limiteds are this week, but yeah, Gridiron Guardians two. All that content and cams coming tomorrow. Some of this stuff should be coming later today. Wild, absolutely wild. Um, you're at level five already. Yeah, it's pretty easy to level up early on. Later on, it gets long. Um, then we have, what else? What else is on my list? The Gridiron Forge is coming next week as you, as we saw in game due to it saying, Hey, it's expiring on the 23rd. Um, we don't know when exchanges are coming or reduxes. They haven't really told us about that at all. Um, where is the, where's the forge challenges? So yeah, I, I don't know what exchanges they're going to bring in. Hopefully they bring in some sort of like 95 to 90, like 94 to 96 overall exchange. Um, Great Iron Forge, two twenty three, as you see on your screen. Uh, we know that we got a season two and three exchanges coming. Um, we don't know about any pack updates, and then obviously more Ultimate Legend honors on Saturday is when we're getting that. So that's everything for the next couple days for today. No AP update, yeah, AP update. I don't know. Hopefully next week for an AP update. We'll see. Um, but that is it. I hope you guys. Uh, enjoy the video. Please like, please subscribe. We're going for 100,000 subscribers. It's free here on the YouTube channel. If you're on Twitch right now, go over, hit the sub button. It really helps. And plus, it'll help you too because it's the finest dang mutt content you see this side of the Mississippi. All right? So shut your lip. See ya soon. Over at twitch.tv. Since we're going to be live all day. Bye.